welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. We're going to get into Virgil Ortiz and Thomas Delorme. A uh, little bit of a, a mismatch here, obviously. Uh, but it's good to have Virgil back. He, you know, he's been inactive due to health issues. But before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. Um, they don't know how to make a book. I do. I don't know how to bring down the house. We make money every single week. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, you can find the link there in the banner below. Uh, just five dollars a month gets you all the perks, gets you the lock of the week. Um, I'm sorry, gets you the lock of the week. It gets you uh, ask the book anything. It's free T-shirt. It, uh, ask me to make a video. I'll make a video. I'll show you how to make money on any single fight that you want. Uh, but please like, share, and subscribe, and follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Uh, also, 3D. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, so here's what we got. Virgil Ortiz, come forward. Freight train of a fighter. Uh, he, he stalks patiently behind that high guard. He keeps a high guard. He has a shotgun jab, absolutely relentless behind that high guard with that jab. He comes, everything is thrown hard. Uh, he's got everything you could want in an offensive repertoire. And defensively, he's responsible. I mean, he's going to be there. He's going to be there to get hit, but he's there to seek and destroy. He, he's really the ultimate seek and destroy fighter. Um, good balance, good footwork. Stays on balance, and he stays in position to hit you, right? Like, he works his angles, and when he makes you miss or slips a shot, he's still in position to hit you. He counters really well. Uh, straight, hard punches. Excellent thudding jab. Likes to lead, likes to be first, uh, but good timing on his counters. Like, he's a good counter puncher, and we saw this in the hooker fight. Really, really good counter puncher. Excellent body puncher. One of the premier body punchers in the sport. Uh, he's in front of you, like I said, uh, but he's not, he's not hard to find, but he's not easy to hit clean either, if that makes sense. You don't have to go find him, but he's responsible, and he'll pick off shots. He can catch and shoot really well. And he can, you know, the, the jab keeps you from wanting to go inside, from wanting to get, you know, the, the jab keeps you where he wants you to keep it because it, it's so thudding and it's so hard. It's really, really good job. He commits to his shots. He really digs in all shots. Everything is thrown hard. He's like a fastball pitcher. This is, Virgil Ortiz is offensively, I think, perhaps the, the, for, for what he is, for a seek and destroy fighter, he, he may be the best fighter in the sport. Walks you down, breaks you down, excellent pop, throws everything hard, has the complete shot inside, outside, fights all three levels, fights all three levels hard. You know, he can, if he wants to jab and keep you on the outside and, and nail you with the right hand, he can. If he wants to get in the mid-range and hit you with everything, hooks, uppercuts, he can do that. Um... Or if he just wants to bang away on the inside in a phone booth, he can do that too. Thomas Delorme, decent skills, decent movement. He's a shot fighter. Um, he, he's 26, 6, and 1. Uh, Thomas Delorme is, you know, he, he was a really high level fighter. He's been out of the ring now for a year and a half, over a year and a half. Uh, he fought Jared Enos in 2021, got stopped in one round. Uh, before that, he lost a competitive fight to Stan Yonez. That was in late 20, that was uh, in 2021. That was four, three years ago already. Um, he hasn't won a fight of note. He's got a win over a guy named Abraham Peralta, a 1911 fighter, third round knockout. He's, this was in the Dominican Republic. His last win of note was 2017. I'm sorry. That was really that was Brian Jones at the Barkley Center. It's not really a, a win of note either. His last win of note was 2014 against Hank Lundy. Kareem Mayfield. 
he's got decent wins. The problem is they're 10 years ago, and, and there's not much left. Since then, you pull up his box rack. He's got the stop his loss to Terrence Crawford. Then he uh, he beat a tuna fight, eight-rounder. Beat Brian Jones, tuna fight, eight-rounder. Lost to Ugas. Uh, drew at Jesse Vargas. Beat a guy named Terrell Williams. I guess we'll count that as a, as a win of note. That was 2019. That was five years ago. Why don't? Why am I not remembering Terrell Williams? But 18 and one, he hasn't fought since. Uh, as a win of note, I suppose, just for his record, got the loss to Jamal Jones, the loss to Stanios, uh, the stop is lost to uh, Jerry Enos in 2021, and he's fought once in 2022, and that's it. You can see the inactivity. You can see he's a shot fighter. You can see this. I, I would imagine this is just for a payday. That's all this is for. You know, look, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, this is not the best fight out there. Uh, Virgil Ortiz already has something probably lined up in August. I don't want to spend too much time breaking this down. Uh, you know, Dorme is in front of you to be hit. He got destroyed by Enos. He got destroyed by Crawford. Whenever he fights a top-notch fighter, he gets destroyed. Um, you know, this is basically, you know, he doesn't have great speed. He's got decent skills, decent movement. He's not a terrible fighter. He's just a shot-aged fighter. You know, wh what's he here for? Is he an opponent or a contender, right? All, all of his history would tell you he's an opponent, and he's going to get utterly destroyed by Virgil Ortiz. And it's kind of what I see happening. Ortiz has a, a, a zoo fight lined up. I don't think, yeah, I'm looking through it right now. Uh, Delorme has even fought at 154. This fight's not going to go well for him. Um, you know, you can, he, he's welcome to the fight. He's welcome to the paycheck. This is just an, an unfortunate fight, which he shouldn't be in. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the odds. You know, he is a name. We, we, we are familiar with Thomas Delorme. Um, but we're going to definitely take Verge by stoppage in this fight. Um, unfortunately, they, they don't have it up. Okay, so what I need you to do. Two times bet. $200 bet makes you five bucks. Okay. So what I need you to do, when they drop the odds, when they drop the uh, odds on the props, on the stoppage. Let's take the stoppage. Verge is going to win this by knockout. I don't think those are going to be great, but we're going to take Verge by stoppage. Um, I will keep you updated when, when those odds do drop um, because I definitely want to take Verge by stoppage. Right now, just taking him on the money line is a complete waste of money. Minus 4,000. I mean, he's a 40 to 1 favorite. It should be wider than that. Thomas DeLorme has no chance. I mean, this right here is a terrible bet. Plus 1,200, that's not nearly enough. There's no chance Thomas DeLorme wins this fight. Virgil Ortiz definitely stops him. Um, so wh when when the props come out, look, join the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. We're gonna make more than that on this fight. All right, this is all we have right now. This is it. This is all we got. But we're gonna take Verge by stoppage. When they drop the odds on that, when, when they uh, show the odds on that, which they will probably Thursday or Friday, join the Patreon. I'll advise you on what to make money on how to on how to do that. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, Thomas Delorme. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, right now, we're taking Virgil on the money line, but we're going to take him on the stop. They just don't have the odds out on that yet. And they always do. DraftKings is just a little slow. Um, they'll have the props on it, and we'll take Virgil Ortiz by stop. Just join the Patreon, and I'll tell you if you want to take the under or how we want to do it. The Patreon is just five dollars a month. The link is in the description, guys. We're going to make a ton of money. So some support. Join the Patreon. Um, all right. Um it is April 25th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.